Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to download and install Windows Server 2025. With the new release of Windows Server 2025, we've made it available on our website and we plan to release several new videos covering some of the features of Windows Server 2025 this video being one of them. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, Windows 11, Windows 10, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in the first part of the video, let's quickly talk about how to download Windows Server 2025. Now, if you purchase Windows Server 2025 from Indigo Software, you will immediately be emailed a download link for the ISO file, as well as your product key. If you bought it from Microsoft, there will be a similar process where you will be directed to a download link. Or if you bought it from another third party, the process is most likely still the same. So once you have your download link, you'll simply just download the file, it's around five gigabytes, so it might take a little bit of time. And once we have the file, we can actually go ahead and get started with installation. Now, one more note before we actually get onto the computer, we're gonna be installing Windows Server 2025 onto a virtual machine in Hyper-V, but we'll cover which steps might be different if you're actually installing it onto a physical server. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump in. All right, I'm gonna start by pulling up my Hyper-V manager, okay? Now here we have some of our Windows Server 2022 servers. But as we know, we're gonna be actually making a new one for Windows Server 2025. I'll click into new and I'll click virtual machine, which will pull up the setup wizard. On the first page, I'll click next. I'm gonna title this Indigo Server 2025. I'll leave the storage location as the default. Okay, I'll hit next. I'm gonna go with generation one here. Uh, generation two would be fine as well as it has UEFI based firmware but generation one is a little bit better for compatibility. So I'll just go ahead and stick with that. I'm fine with the startup memory of four gigs and uh, the dynamic memory is always a good option to have. This basically consumes your actual computer's memory as needed rather than allocating a chunk of that memory up front. So that's a good feature to have turned on. Go ahead and click next. Here we'll go with the default switch for the networking page. All right, now we have to create a virtual hard disk. We have a similar setting as we did on the last page here. So I'm gonna leave this as default and I'll hit next. All right, now we can either install the operating system later, or in my case, I'm gonna choose to install it from a bootable CD slash DVD ROM. So we can actually check the image ISO file directly from the media settings here. And we'll go ahead and locate that file, which I have on my desktop. And here's the actual file itself. So. Windows Server 2025 Preview X64, and this is a disk image file. So I'll select that, I'll hit next, and here is our summary of our new VM. So we'll go ahead and click Finish. Now, before I turn this on, I'll click into the settings. I just wanna make sure of a couple of things before we go ahead and start. So we want the CD at the top in the startup order, which it already is. All right, I'll go ahead and double click into Server 2025. From here, I'll hit Start. Now, just like I mentioned earlier, if you're on a physical machine, you'll simply just be using an actual bootable USB drive. And stay tuned for our video coming out for how to create a Windows Server 2025 bootable drive. All right, automatically we are presented with the setup wizard. We'll keep the language and time on English and keyboard on US. And then we'll go ahead and do install Windows Server. We'll have to hit this agree button here and hit next again. Okay, here is where we actually add our product key. I'm gonna hold off on doing this for the time being since we're gonna show you guys how to activate via the command prompt in the next video. But if you already have your product key ready, you can go ahead and paste it in here. Don't worry about putting the dashes. It says here it'll be added automatically. So I'm just gonna click, I don't have a product key for now. And I'm gonna go with the standard version of Windows Server 2025 and we'll hit the desktop experience, okay? So from here, I'll hit next. I will accept the license agreement. We're gonna select disk zero, that's our virtual hard disk to install Windows Server. We'll hit next on that. And we are ready to install. So I'll click install. It's gonna take a little bit, so I'll come back once it's done. All right, so the installation was successful. Again, I'm being prompted for a product key. Again, we could paste that in here. 
I'm just going to select do this later for now. Here we're going to enter our administrator password of choice. We will have some basic password requirements here to be able to set this. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right. And then in Hyper-V, we have uh, some display settings here. I'll just go all the way to large and we'll go ahead and sign in here. Okay. Lastly, we have a few um, settings here before we actually make it to our desktop. All right. So here we are in server manager on Windows Server 2025. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.